Hi everyone, thank you for watching the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we generate from these videos goes to helping local New Zealand charities. Today we are going to be talking about what has happened with the interest rates for mortgages over July 2020. And the key thing that really happened was the banks started dropping their one year yet again. End of last month, it was 2.65. ANZ came out with 2.55 and led the charge to drop that one year rate. Quickly, all of the other banks followed. And so most of the banks at the moment are now offering 2.55% for one year. Most of the other interest rates haven't moved that much. The two to five years are still pretty much the same as they were last month, but there is quite a range still in the five year mark. You can pay around 3.09 to 3.65% for five years and it depends, but a very small percentage of people are taking up that five year rate at the moment anyway. And other news, and this was a big one from ASB, they announced a one rate policy. Now, what the banks have done for many years recently has been offer a carded rate, that's a non-discounted rate, and then a special rate. And to get the special rate, you needed to be below 80% and you know a good a good client. But ASB have announced that all of their rates are now that special rate. So if you're over 80%, you will pay that low equity margin. You'll pay, say, if you're 90%, you'll pay 0.75% on top of that special rate. But you know that you are going to get that special rate and then add on the margin afterwards. A lot of the time, it was very frustrating for mortgage advisors. We didn't know whether the bank was going to come back to us with the carded rates plus low equity margin or the special rates plus low equity margin. So really good to get that clarity from ASB and we hope the other banks make a move in a similar direction. That's great news for first home buyers who are borrowing over 80% and also just a bit of clarity in the market for everyone else as well. So that was the big bit of news over the month, the 2.55% and ASB's announcements of one rate. We're still seeing a majority of our clients do one and two year, really focus on those rates. Not many people are putting three to five years. We are seeing investors put the longer term. They just want to lock away those low rates at the 3% mark, know what they're going to pay for the next five years and work on paying down their personal mortgage. But typically most people are taking the one and two year rate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch these regular interest rate updates and get in touch with one of our advisors if you want to talk about refixing your mortgage. Cheers.